So this is a, uh, a Bakut experimental. Uh, the Bakut is obviously the, I guess, the pinnacle of experimental canard aviation. It was the evolution of the Long Easy. This one is mostly carbon fiber, um, way stronger. Uh, the, the lightest, most powerful, most capable Bakut in the world. I think there's only around about 13 of them flying right now. Um, but this, uh, this has a, a really incredible story. So some fun facts on this one is the strength and main spar stressed to uh, 15 Gs. I'm definitely not stressed to 15, 15 Gs. Gs. Yeah. Definitely not. <laughs> we had this engine custom built by Lycon, so it's throwing out, uh, I think, a smidge under 350 horsepower, something like that. And it's allied to a uh, custom designed Cato propeller on the back, uh, the three bedded constant speed propeller. And then if I want to look at things like around me, I can go like that. And then the way I would drive this is, so for example, there's the tanker C flying around. I drive this cursor over and then I click, you see it goes white. And when I click, it's it's saying it's like, you know, four to five miles away, right two o'clock. Um, I will take care of the canopy for you. Okay. And... If you remember back in the days of the original Top Gun, you had the good guys in the F-14s and their instructors were pretend bad guys. Yes. The reason they could do that is because the, the physical capabilities of those platforms from the, in terms of how they could turn and how they could climb were sufficiently similar that there was positive training value for the, for the quote unquote good guys. Yes. Right. The tables have somewhat turned. The, the United States does no, no longer enjoys the, the overwhelming superiority that it has in decades past. There's a scenario created whereby the first time that a, pilot, a student or a novice pilot or a, a young pilot would come up against their enemy and have to fight against them would be in combat. Yeah. And that is generally frowned upon because the idea is you, you train how you fight, you fight how you train. But if you can't train against this thing, then, then there's, there's an unnecessary amount of risk created in, in the environment of actual combat. So how to fix this? We created the world's first environment which allows you to sit inside an aircraft, take off, look outside the window, and see other assets. For the sake of argument, see an enemy aircraft that you can engage against, or see a friendly aircraft that you can train with. Multiple different scenarios are possible. For the sake of argument, you could have mid-air refueling scenario, you could have formation flying scenario, you could eventually have ground attack scenarios. We had a key technical solution for an acutely defined pain point, and that was very important to the US Air Force, which is one of the reasons why we very much been, shall we say, their augmented reality baby. Uh, they, they backed us from very early stages. We said, that small amount of money you give us, we'll give you a solution in six months that'll demonstrate A, B, and C. And they said, no, you, you're never going to be able to do that. We're like, okay, give it to us. They did, and we did. And they said, whoa, that's interesting. Let's do more. And so that's, that's basically what we've been doing. We move quickly, and we, that doesn't mean we always succeed immediately, absolutely not. The point is to, as shall we say, fail fast and iterate. Obviously, failing fast means something very different in a startup like this than in a software startup. You have to still be very careful with, with safety, obviously safety is paramount. We're not just putting external parties into the aircraft, we're putting very important assets into the aircraft. So every single flight is, is the most important flight so far. I would argue that augmented reality represents perhaps the single biggest inflection point in how we share and interact with our information since computers went into cell phones. The journey so far at Red 6 has been incredibly exciting. We've achieved a massive amount over the last two years. We are solving some really important problems. We're giving augmented reality a home. So why don't you guys join us for the next stage of the Red 6 journey? I guarantee it's going to be an interesting one.